So I had some leftover Kydex, and I realized that next to my bed there's nowhere to uh, safely put a pistol. I don't have a knife stand because I live in a very small cracker box. So uh, I decided to make something. And you can see I uh, got the Kydex from, Tan from Tandy. It's like fairly cheap. It's great stuff. And you can't use the oven, so I had to use the heat gun and actually put it uh, around the bed frame to make it work better. Uh, it was kind of a pain, but it worked out good. If you'll notice, I used a lot of this masking tape, and I used little uh, ends of zip ties that I cut, and this is a fixed retention holster. So if you're going to make a fixed retention holster, you want to wrap the masking tape around it, uh, you know, in certain areas, two, three layers. This is like a minimal holster type thing, so I didn't have to go bananas and wrap the whole thing. If you're wanting to do uh, adjustable retention, then you just uh, heat form the kydex to the bare gun, knife, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, if you want fixed retention, put two or three layers of the masking tape on there and it works out perfectly. So. Given that I was making this a fixed retention, I used these snap setter, which are basically kind of like rivets. And you just drill the holes and you take these little things. Again, I got those from Tandy. Uh, the rivets I did not get from Tandy. I ordered those off of Amazon, but I think I think Tandy does have them. Anyway, you just use this little thing uh, and you hammer it and it works great. And then, of course, I'm using the grinder here to uh, shape this thing to where it's ergonomic. So when I grab it, I've got, uh, you know, three fingers on there without putting my uh, forefinger in the uh, trigger well. Because, obviously, you don't want to do that unless you intend on pulling the trigger. And in the bedroom, not a good place for that. So, just saying. I'm just kind of squaring up all the edges right here. So, like most of the stuff I have, uh, this little thing is a, uh, it's a little buffer type thing that you put on your uh, Dremel, and it just kind of uh, softens up the edges and makes it to where uh, it's not going to cut you. There won't be any, any sharp edges that will scratch you or anything like that. I always do that to get the little burrs off and things like that, because uh, you wouldn't think the plastic would scratch you, but uh, it absolutely will and I've actually been cut by it because I'm a klutz and so uh, <laughs> which is great <laughs> showing you guys all working with all these power tools and I'm a klutz anyway um, yeah it'd be much easier if I had a, a table or something like that to put that on or some room but 
anyway, you just again make do with what you what you have. And I put four holes on here because I wanted to make sure it was good and sturdy and rigid, just in case. Um, wanted to make sure it was tight around the bed frame and that the actual holster part of it stayed really stuck. So if you're wondering why I did that, I didn't think two holes was too loose, three holes was not be enough. So I did four holes, which turned out to be uh, very stable, but a real pain in the ass to try to... Uh, uh, put the little uh, nuts and bolts kind of thing through uh, because it was uh, what I had in my head was uh, a 2D object and it was translated into a 3D the holes just didn't quite line up uh, so it, it was difficult but I made it work and you can too now from the angle uh, I was Doing this at, I felt like I was trying to change the oil on my truck because uh, I was having to do it from underneath on the floor because it's not like I could move my whole bed. And uh, anyway, it was it took a while. This is uh, maybe an hour condensed into what is this twenty something seconds or something. Uh, I ended up having to take the heat gun to it again and kind of uh, mold it, make it a little bit flatter to get all four uh, screws in there. But it, but it worked. And here is the finished product. Right now. Bam. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks.